Well, hello, we're back at Africa Down Under, and I'm joined by Keith Muller, Chief Executive Officer of Atlantic Lithium. Keith, thanks for coming in. Good morning, Dom. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks. And probably not as well as you, because you've had some fantastic news this week. Not only did Indeed. you have some uh, good drilling results earlier in the week, you just struck a new agreement, investment agreement, with the... Uh, uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund of Ghana. Can you explain what's happened there? Absolutely. Look, we've been talking about uh, MIF coming on board now for almost 18 months uh, and it's truly been a great journey. It's such a professional organisation. I'm so so pleased that they're on board finally. So they've decided to, to come on board for an investment of almost 33 million US dollars. Uh, that will be split up both on project level and on equity in, in Topco in Atlantic Lithium. Uh, and I think what the takeaway for investors out of this is this is a great vote of confidence from a essentially a government body um, you know they won't be investing these sort of money into a project that's not going to go anywhere very quickly so we're very excited to have them on board and we think it's a win-win deal both for us and for MIF uh, so yeah very excited about it and, and the project itself we should mention a whale uh, lithium project in, in Ghana Ghana is uh, well known for its gold sector obviously but this is the first lithium development in Ghana it is indeed. Look, there's a couple of uh, gold mines in Ghana and they've been going for over a hundred years. So from a jurisdiction perspective, it's a, it's a mining country. They've just overtaken South Africa as the largest gold producer in Africa. And the government is extremely keen to diversify in their assets and to have other commodities come in. There's bauxite and manganese in country as well, but this will well and truly be the first uh, critical minerals that will come out of Ghana. And, and they want to see Ghana develop as a hub in West Africa. And uh, we're very happy happy to be part of that process. And, and development of the project itself now with this funding, how quickly can you move forward? Look, we've got a timeline, um, you know, funding is not going to squeeze that up for us, so we're looking to break ground September next year. Uh, there could be potential to bring that forward by a couple of months, you know, but uh, I've been in the mining game for a long time and you need to take your time and get it right. So, so we're not going to let this uh, change the direction and the course, uh, but it certainly does tick a lot of boxes for us. Uh, if there's an opportunity to bring uh, our modular unit forward, which is one of the concepts that we've been introducing to bring cash flow earlier into the project, we might be able to do that. But the main DMS, I think, is going to remain, remain on schedule uh, with uh, construction starting in September next. Yeah. Ghana, as you mentioned earlier, Ghana is a very mature mining sector. Uh, how have you found accessing skills and, and infrastructure in the country? Look, Ghana is a, is a net exporter of talent. Uh, you go around Africa and all the major projects to, on the continent, you will find one or two Ghanaians working there. So uh, we're actually finding a lot of those coming to us, wanting to come back into the country. This week in Perth, I've spoken to many Ghanaians that are actually now based in uh, WA. In fact, this week we've hired uh, a Ghanaian mining engineer as our principal mining engineer to help with the project. So a lot of the guys are coming back uh, wanting to give back and they truly want to uh, promote and, and actually give back to Ghana as a, as a, as a, as a national. So um, I don't think that uh, talent's going to be an issue. In, in, in fact, I probably found it more challenging finding labour in WA than what we are finding uh, labour in Ghana at the moment. It's great to see and then obviously with the enthusiasm of the government as well, it feels like you're, you're, you're a real Ghanaian co company now. Indeed. Keith, thanks for joining us today. Best of luck for the rest of the conference and we look forward to seeing that progress in Excellent. country. Thanks, Don.